the Holocaust was a blot on the record of the human race, genocide needs to be dealt with like a plague, like cancer. When I think about what I hope my brothers and I will accomplish with this gift to the U.S. Holocaust Museum, it's really a blow for a better world. The path to our future is an educated population. It's one way to get more sanity in the world, get more understanding. That's probably our principal way of making the world a better place, of trying to improve the world. Invest in people and scholarship. When you're a world leader in a field, you have international obligations. One of those obligations is to help young scholars learn how to use the resources that enable us to tell the story of the Holocaust in ways that will resonate with today's young people. And the Mandel Center is not only going to be training the next generation of Holocaust scholars, but every succeeding generation, ensuring our ability to transmit this history to the future. My association with the museum began in 2000 when I was a doctoral student and working on my dissertation. And now I'm managing the 30 fellows a year that I was one of 13 years ago. Young scholars need a subject that nobody has studied before, which means they need fresh archival materials. For every document that a scholar examines, an article or book that they write, they are telling a truth, they are recounting a life, they are telling someone's story who isn't here to tell it anymore. There's a level of engagement with the topic that you don't find, I think, anywhere else. It's very unique. Every, every Wednesday when you have our fellows meeting, I think, oh, that's, that's so interesting. I always, I always think my topic is huge, and it is huge, yeah? But when, I'm, when I discuss and exchange experience with other fellows, this experience and this perspective gets bigger and bigger. I, I think about the same issue a lot, actually, because that, that's one role that all of us have to play, is uh, to, to make sure the information that's on Facebook, uh, in published books, in the university classroom is accurate. New scholarship is going to reflect in one manner or another the issues of the times in which the scholarship is produced, and that makes it powerful material for teaching and for education. And no one can do it quite the way it can be done here because of the way we combine a community of young scholars and senior scholars, archives, books, the physical space and freedom and time to, to do the work that we need to do. It's, it's absolutely unique and it's priceless. The assignment that the museum has undertaken to research, to do research on what happened, to do research on why genocide continues, and to preach it, to teach it, to teach others to teach it. That's a mission that should last forever.